Hi guys, hope you're all well. Next video. This one's a bit late. Uh, that's my fault. Because uh, I wasn't sure whether I was going to buy this or not. Because I said in the last video, I wasn't too sure. Um, but I ordered it Saturday. And I knew it wouldn't come in time for Monday when it was released. So it literally just came now. So let's get on with it. Yeah, uh I wasn't sure, but the more I thought about it, I thought, yeah, I'll get it. Um, shit. <sighs> the Suicide Squad. This is the Warner Brothers shop edition. I think if you live over in the States, it's is it Best Buy you get this version. Um, HMV, they do something similar. It basically has the characters' faces and names on, but it's just black. Um, I didn't, didn't like it as much. I thought this one had a bit more pop to it. Uh, let me take the cellophane off and hopefully reduce the glare a little bit. And stick it there that says 80 minutes of bonus features. Yeah, the reason I was unsure whether to get it or not is I enjoyed it, but I mean, controversial opinion, I actually preferred the one from 2016 a bit more. I don't know why. Uh, this one, I mean, how long is it? It's 132 minutes, which is just over two hours, but it felt longer than that to me, anyway. Um, like I say, I, I enjoyed it, but it was just one of them where, as it got close to release date, I just wasn't sure whether to even buy it, but then I thought, no, I'll get it. I like the Steelbook, and I wouldn't mind just watching it a second time, just to maybe, my opinion on it will change. Uh, but yeah, maybe I expected more from it, with it being James Gunn, and I, I love the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, films, if you did, but I just thought, like, like the music in it was just so underwhelming whereas if you watch Guardians of the Galaxy there's so many good songs in that but there's only a couple in this that I thought yeah good tunes and the rest I don't even remember uh, but yeah everyone was good in it obviously Margot Robbie was great as Harley Quinn uh, King Shark was just the best character for me anyway he was just brilliant when they're doing the radio checks, he just goes, bird. That was hilarious. That was probably the funniest bit in the whole movie for me. But yeah, anyway. So yeah, this is Warner Brothers shop, or Best Buy if you live in the States. Um, like I say, HMV's version was like this, how it's got like Harley Quinn's face there, um, King Shark there. I think all the characters are somewhere in amongst all that. Um, but on the HMV one, it's just a black background with the faces on. I just thought that looked better. It it reminded me of like a box of cereal, bizarrely. But I know it just has more pop to it. it just stands out more. I just love all like the bullets. Uh, but yeah, my personal opinion, I prefer this one to the other one. Uh, so yeah, anyway, there is the cover. There's the spine. And the back. I hate this bit because the camera is just so poor. It just doesn't pick anything up. Um, 
you have any questions about like subtitles or anything just give me a shout all right peel this bit off Sticky stuff. I think the back on the HMV one, it was like red with the starfish, and then there's loads of polka dots coming out of it. Um, so maybe that was a bit more vibrant compared to this one, but I just kind of like this one too. Again, that just reminds me of cereal. It's like like lucky charms in a way it's cool I like that ok the inside mm, discs there at least there's something on the the 4k disc a star anyway and the Blu-ray one's just about standard blue. Nothing special there. Right the inside, it's hard to see. If you've seen the film, it's at the beginning when they're all sat in the. I uh, can't remember now if, it, if it's a plane or a helicopter. But yeah, they're all like sat facing each other at the very beginning. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it really. But yeah, like I say, I just maybe after I've watched it a second time, I'll really get into it. Um, but I just thought that the, f the original one, I, I don't know, I just preferred the tone of it. Um, I mean, Jared Leto's Joker. I thought he was okay as the Joker. I just hated the look of him. He just looked ridiculous with the tattoos and the metal teeth. Uh, if he looked, you know, a lot more like a comic book Joker, then it would have been even better. It'd have been a no-brainer. You know, um, but I don't think it'll ever happen. But there's talk of David Ayer getting his own actual cut of the film, like they've done with Zack Snyder's Justice League. So we'll have to see. I'd be game for that if, if they did do that definitely watch it because if you go back and watch the trailers there's so much Joker stuff that just wasn't in the film you know they cut so much out what they should have done they should have had him as the villain and not Enchantress because she was just forgettable so yeah there we go Suicide Squad film was okay but I do love I do love that steel book. It's cool. So yeah. Um I'm just trying to think now what the next one will be. I know Candyman is coming out at the end of the month, but there's no steel book to my knowledge. Um so I could get that, but like I say just be a standard edition. No time to die is out next month. Uh, definitely get, getting that that's pre-ordered um, Halloween Kills that'll probably be next year I'm guessing and then I can't remember if there's anything else but we'll see there's probably something I've forgotten about um, but I'll get a video out to you as soon as possible anyway but anyway take care everyone